Hi everybody, Jim Lee from ClimateViewer.com and TerraformingInc.com here with a story about diseases and hurricanes. Uh, I was doing some completely unrelated research and I stumbled across this, have to point it out. Love for you to sit and listen. Here we go. Plum Island Animal Disease Center um, off the East Coast up by New York um, is a pretty creepy place if you've never heard about it. I suggest you go look it up links in the details while I was researching something I found this document and this is disturbing beyond some of any of the stuff I've ever heard um, and the following that in this is kind of broken up so let me just bear with me in August of 1991 Hurricane Bob hit Plum Island and knocked over the overhead power box which was the backup power for the facility and as a consequence, the freezers containing virus samples defrosted. Air seals on the lab, which were, were breached in the animal holding facilities where, where the vents failed. The fail-safe mechanism of the air damper sealing off the facility to the open air also failed. I'm going to repeat that. The fail-safe mechanism of air dampers sealing off the facility, quote, keeping the viruses inside, to the open air also failed. Melted viruses, melted virus samples mixed with infected animal waste on the floor, and swarms of mosquitoes filled the facility. Eek. This took place in what the USDA called the safest facility in the world on viruses. In 1991, in September, the USDA denied that any system failures had occurred during the hurricane. Big surprise. And the lab workers that were occupying the lab at the time of the blackout were fired. Another big surprise. In 92, Ocean, the EPA, cited the Plum Island facility with hundreds of safety violations. OSHA returned five years later and found that the violations had not been corrected. Another big surprise. At, this, at that time, 124 new violations were found. Oh my God. In 2000, July, the New York Department, uh, Department's New York De State Department of Environmental Conservation found very troubling hazardous waste violations at the Plum Island facility, prompting the New York State Attorney General to sue the USDA. In 2001, the court-approved consent order forced the USDA to admit serious discharge violations. August 2002, Plum Island workers went out to strike on, went out to strike to protest unsafe working conditions. In December 2002, the National Resource Defense Council named Plum Island number two of the 12 worst polluters in New York and New Jersey. Whoa! And to sum it all up, and the state senator on the task force was quoted as saying, what disturbs me is the consistent flow of misinformation. I feel that some of the misinformation borders on a cover-up. It shakes the foundation of our very form of government. I don't know about you, but I've sh sh I've been shaken a little bit by this statement, and uh, but it doesn't surprise me. Be safe out there.